Good morning and a very special greeting to all of you, the members of the Catholic Area Faith Community of Jesus Our Living Water, as well as other visitors who are joining us here on this Easter morning or this Easter day as you celebrate Easter in a different way as we all do, as we gather in these places that once were full but now today are empty. But we want to extend a, a very special greeting to you as the area staff and Father Jerry want to extend to all of you our Easter greetings and blessings and we want you to know this one thing. We really, really miss you. We miss your presence. We miss your smiles. We miss your, we miss your stories. We miss your prayers. But we join together today on this Easter morning and we go to the empty tomb with Mary Magdala and with Peter and the disciple Jesus loved. And even though this Easter is different, we encounter, we encounter a tomb that is, that is empty, which tells us one thing, that never changes, that God is alive, that he is here, that he is present in our midst. That one fact is never changed no matter what happens to us or no matter what virus or pandemic that we might have to encounter along life's way. What always remains true is that God has not and will never abandon us because he is alive and he is present in our midst. Now one thing that both Father Jerry and I have certainly come to realize over these last several weeks without an assembly is that why neither of us are TV evangelists. It just isn't in our, it isn't in our skill set. And so it's a bit different to be able to preach to empty churches and to you sitting at your hopefully favorite couch or chair at home, wherever you might find yourself on this Easter morning. And the other reason why we long for the time when we might be together again is because, of course, I'm mindful of the fact that, well, it must be the camera that has put a little extra weight on me, or at least that's what I'm blaming it on. But nonetheless, we gather in joy this morning, and we are invited we are invited to experience the real presence of the risen Christ that comes to us each and every day. Certainly over these last several weeks, with the suspension of public masses, with the inability to come to our churches and to celebrate the sacraments and the Eucharist, we realize that we have been that we have been deprived of the real presence of Christ that comes to us at this altar, at this table of the Lord, the real presence that comes to us in the simple elements of bread and wine. But on this Easter morning, my friends, I want you and I to understand that the real presence of Christ cannot and should not just be limited to what we experience in our church buildings. Certainly in our desire to be true in our desire to be precise, in our desire to be accurate, we, we run the risk oftentimes of narrowing down where God's life and love is experienced, and we can narrow it down to the point where we think that it is only here that we can experience the risen and the real presence of Christ. But God is alive, and he's alive in your homes, and he's alive in your families, and he's alive everywhere as we have been allowed to experience and to witness as a result of this pandemic because we've all seen with our own eyes like the disciple that Jesus loved and like Peter and like Mary Magdalene who went to the tomb that morning we've all seen with our own eyes that God is alive and that he has been found in all those men and women who are doctors and nurses and medical professionals those people who are interviewed on the television, these medical professionals, and you can hear in their voice and you can see in their eyes that they too are afraid. But fear does not stop them because by virtue of their vocation and their life, 
They go into our emergency rooms, into our hospitals. They pick up the sick in our ambulances, and they do so. Why? Because they believe. They believe that God is alive. They believe that care and compassion and courage, why, it's not been suspended, and it's not been canceled. My dear friends, the real presence of Christ can be seen on our television screens as we witness the heroic work of our medical professionals, those men and women who dedicate their lives to that service each and every day. We see and we believe, and most importantly, we listen to the fact, if we listen closely enough, that God is alive and that he's present to us each and every day in the creation that is around us in this time that we call spring. I, like Mary Magdalene, get up very early in the morning while it is still dark. And it is then that I go out for my walk each and every day. This past week, I was able to hear for the first time the frogs and the toads that were, that were beginning their spring rehearsal Why they could be heard in the Swanson Slough. I know it's, slough is not a nice word for that beautiful body of water, but that's what I call it. And there you could hear, as I was on my walk, the song of those frogs and those toads that have begun their spring song. They believe and we listen, and because of their voice, we believe as well that God is present in all of creation. Yes, the birds begin their mating song, and as I'm out for my walk, I begin to discover that, well, the rabbits have defied Governor Walls's order to stay at home and to practice social distancing. They're together in groups, those rabbits are, and you know what they're doing. Well, they're busy making other rabbits. You see, creation believes that love and life and the promise of new life can never be suspended or canceled. So we listen, and we too come to believe that life and love that is found in all of God's creation is a constant echoing, a rehearsal, a, a sound that reminds us that well, that God is alive and that God is here. Yes, we are reminded each and every day by virtue of birthday parades that happen in cars. We are reminded each and every day of people that have gone to nursing homes and have visited their loved ones through an open window. We are reminded each and every day as people continue to get engaged because they believe in the gift of marriage and the promise of love. We are reminded each and every day of the creative ways in which people are coming together yet remaining socially distant, that we are people who believe. We are people who believe because, well, because we've seen. We've seen that the tomb is empty. And so as believers, we come this day recognizing just like Peter and the other disciple and Mary Magdala. But that's all we need to do right now is to believe. Notice John, the gospel writer, tells us they still did not understand what it means for Jesus to rise from the dead. In other words, my friends, understanding all that is going on around us and what this pandemic is bringing us is not what is necessary right now. What is necessary right now is that we believe, that we believe that God is alive, that he's present in your homes this day, that he's present in your hearts, that the real presence of Christ is found in the gift of life and love wherever it is shared and received, that the real presence of Christ is found in the gatherings of people through open windows so that they can visit with their elderly loved ones and friends, that the presence, the real presence of Christ is found in our medical professionals, those men and women who dedicate their lives each and every day. The real presence of Christ is found in those birthday parades of cards, Cars, the real presence of Christ is found in the remarkable things that you and I are doing each day, teaching our children at home, teaching our loved ones that God and love are alive. So we come on this Easter day. We come even though it still seems dark. 
but we join with Mary Magdala and the two other disciples and we peer in and we see the most remarkable thing. We see emptiness, but the emptiness is a reassurance that life is around us. Love continues to be shared. None of that can ever be suspended or canceled. Kindness, compassion, life, love, courage, laughter, joy. None of those gifts can ever be suspended or canceled. They are reminders to us of the real presence of Christ found in our midst this day. And we see, and we listen, and we believe.